Hi, my name is Francesca Grout. I'm here with Kathleen Shaver of the Alpha Art Gallery 2020 Oil and Mixed Media Exhibition Encounters. Oh, could you tell us about yourself a little bit? Um, I am uh, a painter. Um, I was um, in Philadelphia for about uh, 30 years. That's pretty much where I've, I've worked up until recently. My husband retired and I now live and work in the Hudson Valley of New York. Uh, I'm an abstract painter. Uh, I did a stint working as a registered nurse for many years. That was pretty much how I supported myself. Uh, but now I paint full time. Um, and as you've said that you worked as a nurse for quite a long time, how, how did you orientate yourself towards the art? Like how did that change happen? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I started out studying art right after high school. I had a partial scholarship to Moore College of Art and Design in Philadelphia. Um, and uh, I, I started school thinking I would study commercial art. I would be an illustrator. Um, I came from a working class family. I didn't know any artists or painters other than my school art teachers. Um, and I think what was paramount in my mind was how I was going to support myself because I was essentially putting myself through college as well. So that was a big thing for me. Um, but I figured out right away that commercial art was not going to be my thing. Deadlines and people telling you that what you did wasn't what they wanted and I realized that I was not going to be happy. I didn't want to be an art teacher. Um, and so by the end of my second year I knew that I loved painting and I had taken sculpting classes as well and I loved that but I couldn't see how I could support myself doing that. I decided that if I wanted to paint that would mean I was going to be a waitress, my, which is what I was doing at the time to support myself. And I was also very afraid of going into debt. I, you know, I had already started borrowing money for school. So it was really a crisis of confidence in myself as a paint, you know, the idea of being a painter. Um, uh, nurses make very good money. It, at the time, it looked like there would never be a problem finding a job. Um, I never thought about doing that before, but I think there's a part of me that's drawn to being a caretaker. And uh, once I finished nursing school and began working as a nurse, I, I went back to more part-time and started taking classes in painting. And it took me many years, but I was able to pay for my classes as I went along. I was able to change my shifts at the hospital such that I could have days off where I would have my class. Um, and eventually I graduated with a Bachelor of Fine Arts. Um, uh, but I supported myself and bought my supplies by working as a nurse. That's honestly, I think that's incredible. When realizing, so as I understood, you were always interested in art, but you kind of thought ahead to how to stably provide for doing what you like and thought of nursing. Most artists, you know, do have some sort of backup. Um, they, or their, their partner, may have a very um, secure income or I know painters who work as carpenters or they teach or um, it, it's very hard even if you're very successful to pay for your supplies, pay for your living expenses, own a car. Um, uh, to do that solely from your art is a challenge um, few artists can make I think. Um, I'm not the kind of person who can kind of go by the seat of my pants. I need to know I can pay my rent and that kind of thing. And nursing also, I think, is a very good balance. When you're painting, you're all in, you're involved in the process, of course, but you're very much in your your own head, your own world. And nursing, and nursing is you're very much focused outward on the needs of other people. And I found that a good balance for myself. For your answer. Um, 
So I find it very interesting that you're driven by the primal idea of art. What was it about the primitive and the primal nature of the cave paintings of Lascaux that inspired your art? Mm -hmm. I had a, the, a wonderful opportunity to travel to the Dordogne region of France and I did visit Lascaux. I was also able to visit and I, that was a, a very important experience for me, um, as was seeing art in France and Italy. Um, although I started out as a representational painter, I reached a point where I wanted to be more involved with the paint itself rather than using the paint to create an image. This idea of translating experiences that aren't already filtered through the way we conceptualize and understand our surroundings. So in other words, when if we wake up in the morning, we go outside and you see the sun, you say, oh, there's the sun and there's some trees and grass. Um, we, our um, impressions, our experiences are filtered uh, by stories, by language, by the societies we live in. And I've always been taken with this idea of how could I actually experience the world without all this framing. So in other words, can you imagine if you've never seen the sun? Like how amazing that would be <laughs> to see this like ball of fire, you know? So that inspired me to try to experience the world in a more raw, unmediated way. And what I think it would be a more powerful way. So when I'm working, I think when I say that I'm drawn to the primal, I think I'm trying to unthink my thoughts. So the paintings then wind up, I think, being about how we conceptualize and shape our thoughts. I think I'm trying to go backwards from that um, and come up with something I've never seen before, but that seems to have some kind of a truth. I'm allowing my experience in the paint itself to reveal something to me. Um, but I think I'm not drawn to any particular palette. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think I would say, honestly, I don't consider myself as having a strong, mm, I'm not a colorist. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and my work kind of will go anywhere from kind of murky to more colorful. It occurred to me, yeah, that, you know, that's what I'm trying to do in my painting is get rid of that narrating voice so that I can um, ex have a more true, unmediated experience. Um, painting is essentially a, a reflection of your thought processes. And so I do find that quite meaningful to take either what I'm learning in life into the studio or what I'm experiencing in the studio back out into my life.